importance of salah, a salat, is that number one, they said, in wajadtal ma'a fatawadda. If you have a water, they say, do wudu and do your namaz. I don't have water to make wudu. Should I skip salah? No. They say, tayammam. You do tayammam, dry wudu. I have nothing to do tayammam. Should I skip salah? No. They say, salli wa anta faqidu tahurain. Do your namaz without wudu, without tayammam. Allahu Akbar. Number two, in qadar ta'ala al-qiyami fasalli qa'iman. If you can stand, they say, stand and perform your salah. I can't stand, I'm sick. Should I skip salah? In Ramadan, they say, فَمَنْ كَانَ مِنْكُمْ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ Allah say, if you are sick in the month of Ramadan, don't worry about it. Wait until you feel better. But namaz, Allah say, if you cannot stand, then lean on something and do your salah. Ya Allah, I can't lean on something. Should I skip my namaz? No, they say, sit down and perform your salah. I can't sit down. What should I do? They say, salah mustalqiyan. You pray laying down. Ya Rabb. I'm laying down, but I can't even do my salah. Oh, how should I do it? They say, salah birasi. You use your head to make the sign of ruku and sujood. Ya Allah, I can't move my head. What should I do? Should I, should I skip salah? They say, no. They say, salah birumushi aine. You pray with the eyebrows. You open them and close them. It's a sign of sujood and ruku. Ya Allah, I can't open my eyes. Allahu Akbar. Can I escape it? No. They say, Salla bi qalbi. You pray with your heart. Ya yeah, Allah, I can't pray with my heart. I'm in coma. Allah say, no, you still have to do it. But we lift the responsibility and put on your shoulder of the oldest son. If you become well, Allah say, then we bring it back on you. If you pass away in this, Allah say, your oldest son have to perform the salah. La udhar al salah. No escape for salah, brothers and sisters. Every other thing you cannot do. Allah, Hajj, Allah said, I don't have money. Allah said, don't worry about it.